Okay. Okay, I have no idea what is going on, you guys. Apologies, apologies. Um, this is the second time the audio did that shenanigan. Um, and then um, we will try and get back into the groove. Okay, glad it's fixed. Guys, apologies. Sorry about that. We're going to get this fixed. Um, Hopefully, I don't know what exactly happened there. Um, good April Fool's prank. Not a prank. Um, but yeah, as you can see, nothing saved over. I mean, I guess the gold part did. But you know what? That's fine. Let's work on this again. I, I was drawing and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, um, everything slowed down and I'm like, what is going on? I looked over to the side and then my face was frozen. So, uh, Pokemon says you can't imitate us. We're gonna DM. Oh my god. Welcome back, Rosa. Welcome back, Jordan, Dingus, Draco, Alex. Welcome back, all of you guys. Justin, Sketch. Um, we are gonna try with a take two. So, Mythic, as I was saying before we were attacked by the Fire Nation. Um, yeah. Again, I don't know the extent of. Um, you know what? Maybe what I'll do is another thing we have to think about is like fitting shape in a small space, right? Maybe it'll be something like this where it's like it could be three stars and it kind of looks like it makes a pseudo kind of like crown here. You know what I mean? Actually, now it looks kind of like a bird, a chicken, um, and he's like glaring at you and he's about to peck you to death. Should I go low, low, low? The symbol for the Rooney Tap Avatar, right? Is that what we call the Pokemon coming out? It's a shiny. Um, so, I want to get something again that feels powerful. I can't unsee this chicken, so I'm going to get rid of this. Um, I guess let's do, we have, I'm gonna give it the crown, like I said. It's so crazy designing your own type. What if there were two stars underneath that look like eyes? It could look like a person wearing a crown. That is true. It's, as I'm like looking at this, it just feels, so, yeah, again, so crazy to have to come up with your own types, you know? Or you know what? Maybe, maybe it could be like this kind of like heavenly sword. And I want to try with the two sparkles. And then it makes a triangle for the Illuminati. Fire Nation? <laughs> Pokemon Company, please don't. I like this. I really like this. It's very simple, but it also even remotely kind of makes an M shape. Is that a stretch? Kinda. But you, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's something cool about this. Mythic type. Or mythic class. It's its own level of mythic. I kind of like something like this. I can only see swords of revealing light in attack mode. Oh no, it's not an attack a monster. It's a it's a magic card. Maybe everything is gonna look like kind of tribally or something, right? Illuminati. I see it. Hello, Pasty. Welcome in. Um, I can hear you good, but the music is louder. Let me make sure it's not too loud, you guys. How is that? Is that too? See the vision? Good, good, good. I hope so. Let's stop audio. Oh, it reset it. Oh, I see. Okay, so it should be like something like this. So it's a regular joint. Just stops your monster from attacking for three. That's a long time. 
Um, how's the audio now? Better, right? Cool, cool, cool. Um, all right. And then they do ads. Stop. No ads. But, like, but people just want to have some vibe in the background. Okay. So I don't love this, but like it's kind of getting the vibe across. The Swords of Revealing Light thing does make me laugh. And I don't want it to be that. So let's see if we can keep messing around. Um, it could still look like a crown. It almost looks like an like the eyelid of something. Like an eyelid for an all-seeing eye, you know? Oh, maybe we could vaguely make an M. But at the same time, then... You know, if there are other, obviously not everyone speaks English or uses our alphabet. But you know what? A symbol is a symbol. Mythic. I, I'll categorize this the crown die, something like that. Doesn't stuff for all monsters, it essentially only works on the targeted monster. Perhaps a laurel. A laurel might be too on the nose, but that's not a bad idea. Um, things we could even list things that work for sure laurel crown it could just resemble um, yeah it could be something that just kind of resembles those things right or maybe it does have to be on the nose it's a symbol after all you know what yeah maybe that's what we have to do lean into it this is like very Star Wars now or something like the Rebel Alliance. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it. It almost the laurel kind of element looks almost like clouds and like this kind of heavenly sword of judgment. You know what? I don't hate this. I don't hate it. Laurel looks kind of like angel wings. Yeah. Clouds too. Perfect. So, I mean, that works for me. It's like a stylized kind of thing. It could be multiple things for all you know, right? All right. That's fine. Olympic type. I mean, look, the Mount of Olympus, right? Mythical gods. It's, it tracks. That visual adds to it. I kind of like this for now. Yeah, let's let's keep this for now. This feels like something that does feel like godly, elevated. Even kind of feels like a cross, which is a Christian thing for gods. We have the uh, Mount Olympus feel with the laurels. We have clouds, a sword of judgment. Uh, I think this is a good start. So we have mythic. Let's go to... Let's do lithic. So with lithic... Uh, I think this one's gonna be pretty straightforward. Oh no, don't tell me. I was about to say. Why is it? Okay, I'm about to lose my mind. So here we have the lithic. So for lithic, it's going to be um, things like earth, steel, Hell, maybe even certain mushrooms could be part of the lithic line, right? Earth, mud, clay, steel, rock, ground type is that kind of thing. Honestly, a mountain symbol is exactly it. It's vibing like it's falling to earth. Love that. Love that. Uh, the epic type, pretty much. Maybe a different village in this world worships a different type of monster type. It could be stuff like that. It could be like people are connected to certain monsters more than others. I don't really know the exact story of things, but honestly, gang, I think for this one, it it does feel like it's got to be a mountain, right? Um, now, if I do this, I'll teach you about graphic designs. Um, this ends up making it feel like a teardrop and that feels watery and earth is something that's leveled right when we think of a mountain it's grounded right even the word 
a cave i think cave might be too too specific of an entity mushrooms being lithic over runic for grass yeah i would never make them grass per se if anything i would have some mushrooms i think my cordyceps mushroom would probably be in like the occult section um so let's see and you know again with graphic design right we're probably going to want to think like how how many lines and curves and and things are there right let's do with a mountain right and then also i don't want to add extraneous lines or extra details just to make it look like something right a mountain with a crack in it oh gems for the symbol bonnie's about to lose his mind up in here he's about to lose his cool up in here up in here y'all gonna make me no um a gem isn't a bad idea Lit although a gem feels very magical in the sense of like a rune or like i feel like gem could be fun for for um for runic actually uh although you're not wrong uh, if there was a gem related creature like uh, another kind of like like think chroma stone or whatever his name is right he would be a, a, a lithic type in my world um let's do um let's do some research like what kind of symbols exist already that help tell people what something like a foundation is right um maybe for ground because it's earth and steel mud it could be a thing where almost to like show like getting that crack symbol crack oh my god when you say it like that it could be like this is the strata you know um clay rock it can be as simple as this you know what let's put a circle behind it to be like it's like standing over the sun just to add like a little bit to it but again guys honestly sometimes it's as simple as like a mountain right and a triangle i like this and then maybe i can add like different browns going down for example i don't think the sun adds too much i just kind of added it for now just to again show how big this mountain is like it represents this class right so it's like a huge mountain the mountain that represents this strata of creature let's just keep it simple for now there's still plenty plenty of room to um figure out you know what could be cool too is actually maybe adding like maybe like a plateau actually that you know what let's do that that to me looks better actually wait wait rigidity let's do something and it kind of ends up looking like a drill too and let me just add triangles here that looks good to me gang adding like that little plateau into and almost feels like a drill i really like this you guys it feels very level oh the dark side rap um if there's a fossil fossil you can make a petroleum design as, as it's fossil fuel man draws rock on stream yes sir you guys saw the uh palabo collab right it's a real palabo kind of experience for all the palabinators out there and then i did my little cutie dumb little april fools too uh red orange brown for the colors don't think we have to focus on one color that's true absolutely could be multiple my dumb brain sees a cartoon sombrero that's true i mean we're gonna pick up kind of things first pass no problem so here's lithic all right so we got mythic we got mythic and lithic next up let's do let's do runic 
I want to do runic right above it. If one is of the earth and then another power is more divine, you know. Palabo's the best. Palabo's love. Palabo's life. Eight minutes of just laughter. It was a very cathartic video, you guys. And then it ends in a very poignant way. We are Palabo, indeed. So with Runic, here we have all of our types. Fire, um, water, electric, wind, nature, right? Instead of flying, I'm going wind. Instead of grass, I'm going nature. Uh, small mountain range surrounding large mountain. Not sure. It's not a bad idea. Um, for now, like I said, there's plenty of... It could, it could be something like this, too. You know? Where... Oh my god, and then if I cut it off here, we have the Triforce. Um, it could be a thing where it's maybe three different sizes, right? As a mountain range. It could be a flat plateau. The look feel will evolve as I get a better understanding of what I want to convey exactly, right? Um, this truly was a palabo. Lithic symbol kind of reminds me of the Mayan temples. Yeah, that was another like kind of like vibe I was seeing for sure. Which guess what, right? Using stones and pyramids are among the most uh, iconic kind of early civilization monument that many civilizations developed, right? And they're like hundreds of thousands of miles apart. Um, <clears throat> maybe our fake mon, no, our palabos were the collabos we made along the way or something like that. Um, for runic, this is one where it's very multi-type. I don't see a, a world where I want to do one where it's like thunder and fire and water and ice and, you know, like nature with vines or something. It's too much. Tree as a runic symbol would be cool. I think it feels maybe a little too nature-oriented if I go that route. So I quite like the idea of... Uh, maybe like a gemstone, as we were saying earlier. Uh, what if the top was flat instead of pointed so we can get a square shape? I think square reads is sturdy like stone. I think we get the sturdiness right here at the bottom. I think doing something like this ends the shape very abruptly. I mean, you could take it all the way up and it ends like that. That's not, I'm not against that either. Um, it could be drills there's a lot of ways to take it um it could even be simple like gen genuinely such simple shapes like a trapezoid or something i think that's a trapezoid um obviously i think mountain would be the best bet it could be as simple as this you know like there's so many ways to go about it um but again i will i'll leave it for now so we can go to the next one Kind of like this. It's like a phony Triforce. Triangle. Actually, that looks mad ugly. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll do... All right, we'll leave it like that for now. Because then we're going to just keep uh, losing track. For Runic, as a nausea, I'm obligated to prove the mountaintop. There you go. We're Runic. It's going to be, and I don't want to say magical, right? But like, it's going to be the my, most diverse range of monsters by far. Because you're going to have water, you're going to have fire, um, thunder, we're going to have ice, we're going to have wind. It's all of these kind of thing. A flower with each petal being an element would be very cool. Um, but I think also that does read kind of like too nature-like. Um... I like the idea, again, if we're sticking with potentially shapes, it could be something like this where it's maybe a gemstone. And like, I kind of like the idea of a gemstone because there's something inherently, especially like in a D&D kind of context, like a lot of gemstones have like magical powers and properties. And it could be that this one has all colors of the rainbow or something, right? And in that way, again, I'll figure out the exact rules of my typings. Maybe 
maybe it's not like each typing belongs to a a class but that you know any symbol can have as many colors as they need to tell the story of what they need to be um my only fear would be that of course if we had to like simplify this thing it would be kind of hard to read the alchemical symbols would be a very smart choice which i pulled up here for that reason actually so actually that could be straight up the answer let's bring it down real quick and see and then that could actually represent actually you know what that might be it it might be as simple as that and then maybe like doing something a little you know because we can have real world references in these why not let's do it like this i like the infinity symbol potentially coming in because i think ether the symbol of ether is like a combination of all of these i forget um so actually it could be like this i might make it straight up an hourglass so it's earth fire air and water right let's say it's something like this right and then we do something like that now the only thing is this doesn't necessarily it looks like it could be runic symbols right it's not like it isn't necessarily runic right like it reads like runes or symbols which is cool uh i'll let you kind of like in the direction thank you sketch uh the flower badge from celadon that's kind of what i was thinking when i was making the gemstone um but um let's keep this on the side for now that's using the symbols but i again thinking about the extent of nature without making it seem like again someone on the outside would look at a tree and be like oh is that the grass type and they're not like entirely wrong because there'd be some grass in this magical kind of thing but in that case right let's think about like magic as a power could be like sparkly right maybe it's more like a simple sparkle right which would be a nice callback to mythical right and maybe like all these kind of bits that are protruding protruding kind of looks like a snowflake a little bit but at the same time like i think it could read like magic oh it really does look like a snowflake how like that's the kind of interesting goth's gonna be something like a pentagram yeah I'll, I'll get to goth when we get to goth but it'll be something like i think mostly like an eye like i think you can't really escape the eye i feel like that would be really smart i just like that visual too um so let's see how does magic feel let's do like maybe a firework right like the kind of explosion of a firework oh wait 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 maybe something like this i've seen a lot of people make their own pokemon symbols and you know it's a fun little exercise but a lot of people often overthink things so I kind of like this for magic an explosion of energy right if alchemy symbols were referenced and maybe use a symbol for the philosopher's stones if i do go that way yeah let me see philosopher's stone symbol just for fun oh it, it's i see it it's giving me Harry Potter. 
but obviously this came way earlier. Why not type in magical symbols and see what people- Oh, you know what, gang? I'm dumb. The Celtic Knot, Born God, Pentagram, Hexagram, The Four Elements, which is not the spiral. There's some good stuff in here. You thought of circus music? Da, 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 da. All right, let's see. Okay, so here's a, I, you know, I like this symbol. I don't think it's bad. Um, it's kind of like a firework. It's, it's exploding with magical energy. I'm gonna try maybe something like um, I like the idea of like a transmutation circle as well. So maybe it is maybe it's like that and then oh yeah let's keep it simple you guys. Why don't we do something like this? And it's like maybe an infinity symbol in the middle. Although I guess people would read that as an eight ball. <laughs> so let's do this. I don't I don't hate this. It's a a little Hmm. I do hate it. I'm trying to see. Something runic, right? Because it's runic. Maybe runic could be, again, kind of like a gemstone. Maybe it's like refracting all this kind of light or something. Now it looks like a TIE Fighter! I think Earth's alchemical symbol could be worked into Lithic's design. It could also read as a drill and maybe an upside down mountain. Yeah, that's true. But see, now the only thing is, if I do something like that and I'm using a real world reference, I would be more inclined to incorporate the others into the other symbols, which I'm not against at all. Um, but now the only tough thing is because I'm looking at a lot of these alchemic symbols from magic and abjuration and all this cool stuff, right? But people are going to read it as demonic. I mean, granted, you know, the same people look at Pikachu and all these cute things and they're like, this is demonic too. So I guess you're not going to win no matter what. Um, let's do something like, okay, I see some cool, the TIE Fighter tap, I know. I don't hate the fire, t the firework, right? But maybe, I like the... I wonder if maybe we could make a tree shape as being like the source of magic, but maybe it'll still, it'll like kind of be, be a tree, but then maybe it could explode out into, honestly, I don't, hmm. This is insane looking. <laughs> that doesn't look like runic. But I like that train of thought. 
Yeah, Runic's a hard one, and that's why like name matters too, right? Um, with with runes. So you know what? Let me type in Runic, because now that I've seen a lot of magical symbols, let me see what Runic. It's usually a magical symbol. Oh, you know what, gang? I just realized something. I could... I could straight up... It would be really dumb. <laughs> What, what if each type was just their letter? But that's that's dumb. Because I'm looking at runic symbols look like Viking style, like, you know. It would really simplify, but this doesn't tell the viewer what the type encompasses, right? Looks a bit too much like a tree. Old clips of people screaming about Pokemon being Dikmon. It's, yeah, and look, that's just people looking for cloud or trying to you know insert themselves in places where they don't belong you know it's dumb right all right runic with magic what if you know what what if it is kind of like a gem and then we do something like this oh that's just too busy You know what? I think the closest thing I like is something like this. Let's keep this for runic for now. Okay? Because this is like an explosion of magic, right? And then maybe it's like the different colors in there, whatever it is. It's a placeholder. Give the R a swirl in the bottom right. But see, again, here's the thing. The moment I do, say, runic as a type, the other ones would need to have their letters be represented and the main issue masked at that point is the symbols don't really tell the viewer enough about um the typing itself here you can see it's an explosion of energy right more than anything else like you could tell it's an explosion right and that's where that arcane energy, right? I was thinking our alchemic circle, but it just feels like, look, honestly, that works. It's simple. It's magic. It's explosion of magic. A fire, water, thunder. I'm not against this. And maybe, if anything, I could even have, have it connected like that. I don't hate it. I like it. Yeah, me too. I think that that looks pretty good. And you know, when you like look at it in the context of these, it still kind of fits. You know. You know what? Let me see if a triple. Ooh, I kind of like this. Or lithic, because maybe the flat part could represent like Paleolithic, like carving, cutting into stone. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. And this looks very grounded. This feels very magical, explosive. Let's keep going. Uh, I left for a moment and you were gone. I went to my YouTube homepage in part two. Ye not the internet went out, Gabby. It was a really weird thing. I was drawing and then all of a sudden, like, my whole thing froze and then restarted on its own. So I think that was Pokemon Company trying to take me down. But we're not gonna let that happen so now we have runic we have lithic at the bottom runic at the top mythic at the the highest peak again it's reading maybe a little too much like a star wars symbol so i might have to change it up maybe i can add you know extended things like this um maybe you know what maybe i'll just do the crown thing more than the sword so i'll do Or, you know, it could be like kind of like a hilt, right? The crown and it comes like this. 
Yeah, something like that. Okay, so back from the PC once again. Hello, welcome in KK. Uh, game, who's the Game Freak spr sp spry? Spy? Um, okay, Runic looks good. Lil Lilic? Lithic looks good. Mythic looks good. Let's do... I mean, let's go down the order. So we did Lithic, Runic. Let's do Cryptic. So I feel like Cryptic would live in this space. You know what? I'll do this. I do kind of want to organize where I see the typings. I think Runic to me is going to be another powerful type. I'll have it right underneath Mythic, right? Um, I think Gothic and Mist... Oh shit, gang. Order, sorry, Chaos, Order, Chaos, Fair, and Order. It could be that magic is fair gothic is chaos and runic is no 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 okay okay this is cool wow wait we could have some really cool stuff going on here these types could represent mostly chaotic it doesn't have to but i want to see if i can pull something like this off Chaos, fair, and order. Order. And these, this is how the mythic gods have labeled the planes. Um, or like the monsters that live in the world. How many types? There's only going to, so instead of types, it's going to be classes. I've gone through the types earlier, uh, but I have lithic, runic, cryptic, gothic, and mythic. So technically I have six but i have seven total maybe there could be you know what five actually works because that could add just a little bit of imbalance oh shit this is cooler than i thought you guys i think something could be really cool here so i'm gonna decide it's really going to look like this oh with the pentagram oh god this is cool so it could just live in certain kind of realms so I think K uh, Lithic would live on this side. Um, I was just trying, then everything went out, and Pikachu appeared with a hyper-realistic... What the? Jorp, I think we need to go to a doctor. Um, Tipic and Lilith. Lilith. Lithic. Let's do... I feel like Lithic would be in f towards order and fair. Holy shit, if I pull this off. Yeah, it was just autocorrect trick, no big deal. Let's do. Oh my god. Do you guys see how cool this is? How unintentional, but yet. Order, chaos. Oh my god, I'm getting hype, y'all. So I think cryptids would live in. Cryptic. Would live. There's Mythic right here. Cryptic would live, I think, towards Chaos. And then... Would Tipic be... Maybe Tipic could live more closer to Chaos as well. Because they can be swayed. Right? Um, and so, yeah, we have Fair in the middle. I think of all of them, I think Runic does live in the middle. And then we have Cryptic. Gothic. Oh, wait. Gothic needs to live on this side. Oh, yeah. What am I talking about? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Tipic. Oh, my God. Guys, this is so cool. No, 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 no. Cryptic will live on the bottom. Amongst the land... And Gothic, Gothic lives towards chaos. It's like an unofficial thing. Guys, that's, you gotta admit, that's pretty cool that I pulled this off. Mythic, Gothic towards chaos alongside Krypton, Runic in the middle, Lithic and Tipic towards order. This is gonna be a hit. This is going to be a hit. 
And the fact that it makes a pentagram and like the top three, Gothic, Runic, Tippic. Oh wait, maybe Tippic should live in the middle. Yeah, we kind of got a cast system. Wait, should Tippic? Because Tippic doesn't... Yeah, that makes sense. It would be the antithesis of like the supernatural. Very cool, right? This is going to be awesome. Yo, guys, I'm so hyped. And if I did want to do like a caustic or whatever, it could live on the bottom underneath it all as like the ruminations of the world that happens um, behind the scenes. Um, the name Tippic is getting on my nerves. Why? That's a little excessive. What did he, what, did he do something to your family? I'm going to start designing Gothic. And I think very obviously, gang, I want to do something with um, an eye. I don't know if that's too obvious, but like, I think that's the whole point of type designs and whatnot, right? And symbology. I think I kind of want to do... I, that looks hella shika if I do that. Like a teardrop. You know what? Let's not do the teardrop. Ooh, I got an idea for gothic, gang. It's going to look kind of like a lotus flower opening, but it also looks like an eye. And instead of a single eye, what if I made it the in infinity symbol to look like two eyes in a way? That looks kind of dumb. Skull symbol for gothic? That's a little too on the nose. That's a little too on the nose. That's more closer to Pokemon's things. I'm trying to do like abstract yet still fits, right? Uh, back in the previous arrangement with the seven circles when you started the Chaos Warrior stuff, I thought something different. What's the thought? You know what? The infinity symbol is maybe a little too much. Let's keep this as a symbol for the eye. Let me do... It could be like the eye peeking out. Looks like a bat wing, which fits like the dark typing. It looks like the eye. But again, I don't want it to read too much like a graphic design symbol. Looks good? All right, good, good, good. Just annoying word, maybe Normic? No, Normic sounds too normy. <laughs> it's just an annoying word. Chat, I want to hear this. What do you guys think of the word typic? It's, it's not the best word in the world, but like I think it also extremely works. For what it's meant to be um if there's a better word I'm, I'm not against changing it but it would have to be a word of a letter that we don't have we have mythic gothic runic cryptic lithic and tipping make gothic the lincoln park tipping is fine let's see Um, let's do for gothic. Oh, you know what? Maybe the like the crosses could be kind of like a a recurring kind of symbol. Now it's the the manta ray. Um Let's make it obvious. Let's make it obvious that it's an eye. I kind of like this for gothic, you guys. That looks pretty insane.
the ultimate test when I do the final passes for all this is to make them read readable to the names that I'm giving them. You know, tipping makes sense for typical animals. Maybe I'll get used to tipping, but I'm still annoyed. It makes me laugh when you say annoyed because it sounds like it really did something to you. Conti was kind of looking like the fortune telling orbs. Perfect, perfect. Basically, the idea was above all mythic was. Um, before, basically the idea was above all was mythic then the top three were chaos fair and order magic gothic runic and cryptic and the bottom three were chaos fair and order um you can look for the gothic yeah that's absolutely right dario that is absolutely right um you know what that could be a cool visual rep like style to represent the types as well like maybe it could be like stained glass but there is something i guess more um worrisome about that only because minimizing these logos could be hell but again these are just passes just to find the vibe so but i do like the fortune teller i like the eye element i like the kind of curves to it gothic kind of tracks right now and guys once we add things like color and stuff and find the exact you know we will really be in a great place like it'll color will only add further more you know to the typings right like looking at the visual designs again i'm feeling very good about um what they represent um colors will just further exemplify it um it could be two tones right it could be in pokemon each type obviously represents one well type right an element or a concept because my world will feature a much more streamlined approach it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe give two colors per each thing hell maybe even three i think two is probably better um but all that kind of stuff will slowly but surely come uh, I'm fine with tipping as well. It's hard to find ick word that would fit base basic. Auric really it could be basic, but basic is an insult, you know? So we have gothic, runic, and tipic for the top. Um for tipic, this could be extremely simple. So I could even give different kind of shapes, right? I have circular, I have sharp shapes. Maybe for tipic. You know, it could be something like something like this. You know, I don't know what it means. Forbidden cheeseburger. It looks like a black hole symbol. Basic sounds like an insult. Yeah, sadly. Generic, it's too long and also kind of an insult, right? But so much is normal. Bear face. All right, let's do... What could we do for tipping? Normal type symbols are pretty... Let's let's use Google. Um, normal type symbol. I'm seeing the stars. Um, how do you define normal, chat? It's a, it's a really weird ask, right? Um... When I type in normal, oh, you know what, gang? This is what we could do. A paw for typical? No, not just, only because it's just too, just call it ick. I think a paw would be too animal oriented. The thing that I'm seeing, you guys, is a median. It could be uh, like this graph kind of thing where, you know, say outliers live here and here for the typic type we could just have you know what so in that case what if we had gothic oh shit look at this so we can have gothic have the parabola come downwards right and then for the typic type 
normal means that of like the normal population lives in the middle of where the parabola reaches its apex so for tipic it could just be like and i even put a spike here or something because that's where the typical live hell we could even put an arrow and it looks like a bow and arrow of which normal people since they have nothing they have to make their own weaponry shout out to everyone that's in the autistic type gang i like that but it would be too similar to lithic could make lithic upside down to say oh that's true but you know what it i'm not opposed to that because they live in the same side so now i have these two being opposites and these two living in a similar spot i really like this so far it's a little cumbersome for sure but again maybe i put that star maybe the star symbol is the thing that lives as like the the element for all of the symbols how i could put the star like right here in the middle here that's dope as well add a tip to the typical symbol how do you mean this i think this looks really cool i could even ground it again if i needed to because normal if you look it up it's always represented by a graph right not normal normal not normal right living in the extremes and i have the star living right there right now you didn't find to make way cryptid and upside down bond stars there you go uh question do you have any twitter or instagram i do so right under look right here chat right here at mr bonnie john if you look that up on twitter and instagram you can follow me and my shenanigans there um yes that's exactly correct that is correct exactly correct jorp if i remember when you first came out, i said jorp jordpa but jorp is right making cryptid 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 i said cryptid cryptic vaguely an upside down mountain let's see how does that work it would be crazy if we could make it work i'm not i'm not against oh shit guys cryptic what gabby said earlier could vaguely look like a bear paw or something or like slashes because this is the thing that's not entirely understood so it could be like a bear not a bear paw per se but kind of like a paw you know um i typically looks like a bow that's exactly what i was trying to go for with the arrowhead and like it makes sense that if you don't have powers you're like Sokka from avatar you would use a boomerang or an arrow you're normal so you have to become beyond normal right um maybe slashes with eyes peeling through could be that let me you know what i like I like this being the base. I like this is kind of like a paw. You know? I do like the idea of the eye. So it could be the eye right here, but it might be too much. But it could be cool that both cryptic and gothic both have eyes. One is like these creatures are peering at you from the night and whatever. Like things we don't really understand. No, you know what? It doesn't have to be that deep. I think it'll be something like this. Cryptic being like a bear claw type of thing is kind of smart. And now these symbols look the same. 
these symbols got the same outward motion the fact that this is exploding in the middle hitting all of them and then mythic living above it's just perfect so i do good you did great gabsters i think similar with something but like going down pointing teeth fangs mm, see the thing is i want to kind of live in the shape you know what it could be it could be this side is more blocky or you know what these could be atypical to each other too there's a lot of cross-referencing i can do Loch Ness monster has no claws one of the main cryptids in my universe the Loch Ness monster does in your universe earth where the Loch Ness monster lives it doesn't have pots i think bonnie's made peak let's go chat i'm hyped dude this is crazy that's why simplicity is a beautiful thing and i think what's really cool is that again it's not like there's any outward um type advantages i want you guys to find the monsters that you guys like and raise them there's going to be other ways that i can kind of incorporate advantages and whatnot and you know what it could be potentially within chaos um fair and order right um so to me it just makes sense that maybe there's a weapon triangle kind of like fire emblem to add the strategy maybe there maybe like chaos defeats order order defeats fair no maybe order and chaos are super effective against each other fair does equal damage to both sides no i don't know what i'm talking about honestly a mythic symbol coloring is both gold and royal purple my brain when you said both Loch Ness monster with a paw just went to a really big otter in my universe it's a gigantic otter calling it now i'm a cryptic main cryptics will probably include things like mushrooms slimes mimics things like that gothic will have your your psychic supernatural kind of entities uh skeletons potentially uh dark side kind of things um runic will be your fire water electric ice wind grass typic will be very run-of-the-mill kind of creatures i i wonder if typic is even needed because i'm having trouble trying to think what it could be maybe typic could be just literally just animals and they don't have anything special they're just cool animals they don't got fire shooting out of their back or anything um maybe like an owl bear could be like a typic creature you know then lithic would be your stone guardians your uh, monsters made of rocks or crystals um things like that you know um, you know even things like that doesn't necessarily have a grasp over um you know for example, mushrooms could also live in lithic um yeah I don't like mushrooms. They're a fungus. They're the fungus among us. Uh, in my universe, Lochris, Lochris. Lochness is Lapraz, and Lochness is Lapraz. Lochness is Lapraz, and Lochness is Lapraz? I think the alignments being for thematic purposes is just fine. Doesn't have to come exactly. I think it'll just be really cool for the story and like the way it's broken down, you know? Living in chaos are the gothic and cryptic classes. Living in order are the typic and lithic classes. And in the center lies runic. Uh, the, the line blessed closest by the mythic class that rules above all. Seldom are these monsters seen, but when they make an appearance in the world, know that great circumstance may be around the corner or some bullshit, you know? Tippet could be your intelligent creature mods that can use tools. Ooh, I like that too. Uh, because I was thinking about boosts and stuff, right? All that kind of stuff. And the way I see it, I would really, really like it to make it that the boost monsters are like the most intelligent kind of entities, right? Creatures that really um, uh, 
take out like a humanoid shape, right? So in my world, Incineroar, right? One of the most loved and disliked creatures I've seen, right? Um, people came to love Incineroar, but when he came out, it was like, dude, what the hell? Like we we saw a really cool Tora cat being on, you know, all fours, and then it just becomes a man, right? Uh, and it's inspiration is very humanoid and anthro. It's a wrestler. It's so much so it has a belt where it shoots fire. I would make it so that the boost Evo monsters, you would have like Tora Cat be the final form or whatever it is. Not necessarily Tora Cat. But then when you boost it, it becomes humanoid as if it like gets all this intelligence and it stands up, you know? Nessie with all giant Nothosaurus. Gotcha. Um, but cool, I think for a first pass, we spent a lot of time um, coming up with names and breaking up the uh, the types. Um, and again, when this game or whatever, whenever it comes out, I'm not going to really be like, Tippic is normal fighting in bug, Lithic is ground rock and steel, Runic is fire electric... I'm going to come up with my own thing so that people equate it with the in-game thing. I made that stuff to help you guys kind of understand, oh, okay, where did my fire type go? Where did my psychic type go? Where did my dragon type go? Even then, dragon and fairy don't really live in this universe like that per se. Um, I might even actually make... Honestly, gang, I might actually make mythic its own... Um, class, right? So I can move this here. I kind of want to make Mythic live here, and there might be something like this could be for the legendaries only, legendaries and and things like that. And there might have to be. A sixth one that's more heavenly. Uh, sorry, earthly. That kind of like acts as like the dragon, or the fairy, the mystical. Stoic. Stoic also reads to me as more on the order side though. Um, so I do want to start wrapping up stream because it's been two and a half hours since I've started. Uh, my favorite boss are Monkey. Um, Gabby, thank you for the hearts. We'll take those. Um, kind of like the Bonnie John stream chat. Legends only. All legends in the making. Um, I feel like there could be one more thing. And it could be... It could be, again, be the dragon type. It doesn't have necessary... Like... Mythic means it's its own thing. I'm wondering, and it, maybe it's not needed, but maybe if there's something stoic for Tippic. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, I'll, I'll mark that right here. My hand is okay. Thank you, Gabby. I haven't been drawing too hard, just kind of sketching. I thank you. I appreciate it. And yes, don't forget to like the video and go back and like the other one too. Um. Mythic. I wonder if I need a more earthly version of Mythic that kind of lives over them. Or it could be Runic. Because I'm thinking, for example, if I have like dragons, right? Do I put dragons in Cryptic? Not necessarily. Now, if I had an undead dragon, it would go in Gothic. Right? If I had a hardworking dragon, it would be Tippic. So it's not like dragon needs to live in its own space. So it's not necessary caustic. No, caustic would be down here, if anything. Um, but again, you never know. You never know. As I draw more and more creatures, I'll figure out their types and all that, right? Exotic for earthly. Oh, you know what? I do like that. I do like that. It could be things like dragons um let's make let's make a list guys dragons fairies um i'm gonna just say major beasts 
you know? So, for example, there could be an exotic gothic, right? Which would be like an undead dragon, for example. Or if there's a, um, a very specific um, kraken, right? It could be runic, runic exotic, because it could be like a, a being of water. The classic dragon working nine to five and all that, of course. Yeah, I do like exotic. It could be exotic for that one. Caustic wouldn't work anymore because we have cryptic. So maybe instead of caustic, it could be. I don't like toxic, but it's kind of like fitting. And we still have a really cool triangle of movement that's happening. So what would the exotic symbol be? It could be just the crown. You know? And then the mythic are like the ancestors to the exotic creatures. And they have like, you know, that works. And then for toxic, it could be maybe like spikes living down. It's like the opposite of a the opposite of the crown at the top. And maybe maybe like waves or something. It lives in its own tier, so it's not. So it'll be really fun to figure out again colors. Um, again, the exact visuals, but I am really, really pleased with this right now. I think this is like, I think this is a perfect representation of the level of care that I'm going to be putting into this project. Because, you know, a lot of people are saying they're going to be doing their, you know, character create, uh, like monster collectors and stuff. And that's fine. Do, do it do what your heart wants to do but i want to make sure i do something different different yet still pays homage to what you know what i love and let i'm really putting my own stamp on things you know uh caustic would be the lowest of the low yeah it doesn't care about chaos or order, just rots and destroys stuff kind of like a force of nature exactly um for my own monster team, I've considered combining the themes of dark and poison to make a toxic type. The part of the dark that's a little shadow would be put somewhere else. Yeah, dark is kind of a... that, And that's why, to me, it made sense to fold dark with psychic. To me, dark is like psychic but mean. Which, is, yeah, it makes sense. But, you know, folding in necro and stuff. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, I really, really like this setup right now. I think visually, I like my tiers. The fact that I can have that kind of alignment system, um, it's it's not perfect, but it's it's very pleasing. Looking at it right now, um, gang, let's have a let's start wrapping up now. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Let's hear the last final thoughts as we start closing up shop. Um, um, to me, this is such a wonderful start. I like the direction of my symbology that I'm going for. And yeah, soon I'm going to be getting rid of like Tippic is normal fighting bug. I'm going to keep it on the side just to like, again, help people make that connection because they're not familiar, right? With what Tippic and Lithic, Runic, Cryptic, Gothic, Mythic means. Um... But I will say, like, gothic is otherworldly sensibilities. And I can fold in keywords, right? I can be like, gothic represents psychic auras and necromancy, things like that, right? Symbols are epic. Good, good. I like your work. Good. Very interesting. Glance down. Instead of reading toxic, I thought read flick. Don't know why. Thought psychic and fighting to combine mental discipline, since martial arts is very mental. It's mental, but, like, I like the way Pokemon did it. Um, it makes sense for it to be physical. There's absolutely a mental aspect, right? Having mental fortitude. But in that case, you would have to make your psychic different where it's like an ESP um, 
but that's why it gets interesting the crossover and stuff you know I like how it's looking the max of each time will be interesting 100 percent. i think that's what i'll do next on my own i'll sit down and really break down what sh what the types not what they represent we know what it is but like how i describe them in my world right again when the game comes out it's not going to be like hey if you've played pokemon um typic is normal bug and fighting types um cryptic is this lithic is your rock ground and steel i can say i can fold that in the um you know in the description again um it's it'll be very simple right like i can be like lithic are monsters that are born from the very earth itself you know hard as steel with uh the facade of a rocky mountain i can use keywords to teach people you know um but um you know that's kind of where i'm at with that kind of stuff you know um so yeah i think that we're in a really great place um to really start designing i think i'll keep working on this on my own um but in the meantime guys let's start wrapping up um but i want to um I want to ask you guys what you're looking forward to throughout the rest of the week because I want to, you know, continue doing the monster stuff. And, you know, maybe this one was a more boring episode because, you know, it's breaking, um, it's breaking down the very foundation of how, how a lot of the monsters are going to be designed, right? I'm so glad that I got rid of, you know, some of the older names and then kind of just readjusted um some of the typings and stuff um so now throughout this week i can absolutely get in here and start doing what we want to see which is monster design um now that's a type chart yeah this is a this look if you showed someone this and then we're like hey there are no don't worry about type weaknesses i think people are gonna go like this thank god and i'm not saying it's because pokemon's hard but it's a lot to keep track of and every time we get a new monster tamer kind of thing you got to learn what the new weaknesses are or the strengths and granted a lot of it sticks the same right so you're gonna have your fire type and fire will always be strong against grass and grass will be strong against water water is always gonna be strong against you know what i mean like that's fine but I'm very pleased to design something that like you get to show people this thing and they're like, oh, I don't have to remember anything. Okay, cool. Awesome. I can jump in and choose the mons that I want to play. Right? And that there will be other levels of strategy. Who and who knows? Maybe down the line people are gonna say to me, Bonnie, like, I don't think the gameplay is fun. I think you do need to have advantages. I'm sure even just looking at this, I can figure out a fun and easy way. To have strengths and weaknesses exotics could be like again the dragon type right and it could be just strong against everything with like very minimal weaknesses but maybe they're glass cannons um maybe with gothic it'll be strong against the stoic type right they have like that advantage over it um maybe strong you know the stoic type will be strong against cryptids maybe they hunt cryptids their whole life right um Things like that. I'm sure I can find. At the end of the day, it's all logic rules, right? Um, also, not cool, Bonnie, which reminds me of that April Fool would bring that shotgun. How dare you? I love my beautiful baby boy, Colosian. Uh, he's a cutie patootie. He's got a beret, for God's sakes. Um, but I love the setup. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be very easy for newcomers to enjoy. So that's what's really exciting for me. I want people to choose monsters um, that you like. That's, we've, and as, as Rec is saying here, I like advantages. Yeah, I do too, because it does force diversity onto the team, right? You need to have things. But at the end of the day, also, 
people can choose whatever they want i want to see what happens when we take the limiters off right we'll have that for pokemon and all this kind of stuff um i think at the end of the day i want to see people run teams that they can if they want to run a team of six cuties and destroy the whole realm awesome if they want to run around a team with like the biggest baddest bruisers go and do it where we're going to get a lot of diversity is probably through the monster roles right we're going to have roles and alignments and if it gets to being too much then so be it like i could see myself maybe getting rid of the roles feature and then maybe just keeping the alignment um or maybe i get rid of the alignment and didn't keep the roles so uh yeah gang as we get ready to wrap up hello oni welcome in welcome in as we get ready to wrap up i want to hear what you guys are looking forward for the rest of the week um i want to you know keep working on art and stuff for the channel right i think one by one at this point we do it like a dex neo kind of thing i have a good list of monsters that i want and day by day i tackle each new line um it could be, I think the first one that I really want to work on is the Aklut, which is like an orca wolf dog thingy. So that to me is just an animal that I've been wanting to design for a while. I love orcas, I love wolves. Um, uh, I think alignments and types can be wrapped into one thing you're going for. Yeah, I'm just worried that it's going to be like too many things to keep track of granted pokemon has that stuff too right we have natures in pokemon we have abilities we have types so maybe it's not too much if and again i have a very simple setup where again i like to, to look and develop these things to get like a look feel and so ignore you know ignore the the repeating symbols but like this is pretty forward right alignment order fair chaos and i don't know why i typed it like that to me i feel like it should be the opposite way where it's chaos fair and order so you could say like i have if we have toe tempest right toe tempest would be if we're talking typing right it would be a cryptid runic cryptic runic monster um and essentially it would be so let's say whatever it is it could be order cryptic runic and then it could be like an all-rounder i see it more as an all-rounder you know Toe Tempest is a powerful monster that stands tall in the face of adversity. Summoning energy from its past lives, they plant themselves into the ground to become a lightning rod, calling power from beyond the clouds to aid them. So its attacks would mostly be like electrical charge, right? Um, but we wouldn't say it's a thunder type, we would say it's a runic type because it's using magic. Uh, fair in the collision, sure. Rules can be used to, as a tag to get the player to know how it's going to be used. Yeah, and then it, it changes per mon. Like, Toe Tempest could be a chaotic one, a fair one, or an ordered one. So maybe I won't necessarily have alignment in their page. It could simply be something that is there for, for you to see on your lineup. Probably have to watch the stream. Yeah, there's two parts because my, my stuff tweaked um but yeah i think for now i think i got like my typings and stuff figured out um i actually don't know if you're game i'm not really sure yet i would probably make it turn-based just to keep it simple it might even be a card collector for all we know i'm not a you know a game developer per se so i'm not promising a video game i'm trying to develop a concept first is my first goal and I can develop like a card game on my own. A video game is a very expensive thing. It promises a lot. And so I'm not trying to do that. You know what I mean? Um, so I can never tell what to say for first. Um, yeah, let's see. Um, you can certainly say Bonches lean towards certain alignments. Yeah, absolutely. I think at the end of the day, I might use the alignment to help them evolve. Like I think giving split evos in a very Digimon way would be very fun. Um, 
but yeah so the next step i think now that i have my types um what i want to do funny enough i was going to do a i want to announce tomorrow the discord community art challenge but maybe what i'll do is i'll just announce that you know what yeah so we'll do like the act tomorrow um have some experience nice i got some experience with it but i'll take all the help i can get um again i don't i'm not trying to like straight up design a game yet i don't want to promise something that i can't deliver on however i promise i'm going to work my hardest to make this a full-fledged concept so that i could potentially shop it out to publishers and developers and things like that right they want to see proof of concept and i know i can deliver on that so that's what my goal is um and then you know you never know right with youtube the kind of people we meet and the exposure if people i start making potential videos on this down the line and people it blows up that you know that's how things really get started right the community has to show interest and if they help me i can really run right um I agree, right? They might start as a one alignment. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely that. That's why, like, maybe I won't do alignment um, on this page. I think that will be something that will only exist. Um, actually, to me, roll would go first because you would see what kind of creature it is. Like for tomorrow, the Aklut, right? I could see it being a bruiser. And then if I wanted to make it lean into a water type, I can make it runic. But to me, um, it could be something else, you know, like, I'll, and that's why, again, even this work that we did today might straight up change, you know? So this will be really cool. If, if anything, you know what? If anything, this is what I could do. If, it, if this is the dex page, I could have it sit like this, right? And then maybe the typical align, there's gonna be like a typical alignment for creatures. Um, the typical alignment could live like right here, maybe actually. Yeah, let's do alignment. That way when people, number 124 right and then you have the alignment next to it and that's just it's typical alignment you could find it maybe it's a rare find to find like a chaotic toe tempest or you can mold your previous forms to be chaotic and maybe it gives it a unique attack or something you know but then on this side i think the cool thing would be um yeah doing roll first so you know oh you could put it as an attacker or whatever and then you know that would also affect how you would want to build out your team right crap so then i still want to so maybe tomorrow we'll have to design the symbols for like rolls and stuff and alignment as well so but palabra bonnie's videos don't gonna be doing numbers the typical alignment it makes changing that alignment feel more meaningful yeah i, get, I think that would make sense certain entities maybe in a cult would be far more leaning say in chaotic for example but again i just didn't want to do a thing where like gengar's entries i always go back to gengar gengar's entries make it sound and look like a maniac and it can be but it can also be like a sweetie pie and that's just completely misunderstood you know um and i'll eventually continue to find the look feel of everything well, this looks pretty sick i'm sure you're interested but i'm using motivation for my types for example fire types are very passionate and earth are loyal oh i can see that i mean yeah that just makes sense i think that's kind of like you know, part of the character design side of things, you know? Really can't wait to see Hordrick in the future. Yeah, we'll see how he evolves. Chaotic, also like this chat pretty much. Um, yeah, without a doubt, um, 
This will be the Summer of Monsters. Line of Pokemon just announced the newest project for Pokemon 2024, Pokemon Dark Black and Super Bright White. April Fools, Justin, as, as we try and close out the stream. But gang, yes, I think it's about time we close up chat. We've definitely spent um, a lot of time here. Um, with Bonsters, we might be spending more time in streams, so no more than ever. I need you guys to really keep my hands, um, you know, uh, in tip-top shape. And I'll be doing a lot of art outside. Remember, just because I'm not releasing videos consistently anymore doesn't mean that I'm always working on art. So, you know, I might need to, like, slow down on certain days if I need to slow down my cancel stream or do video games or something but yes gang i will catch you tomorrow we'll do some uh character design i'll probably want to develop symbols tomorrow too like i said for the roles and probably the alignments as well so in the meantime make sure you leave a like on your way out thank you so much for hanging out with me today you know i appreciate it have a wonderful days wonderful days have a wonderful night and yeah, feel free to keep in touch through the Discord. Have a